hello. So today I just wanted to have a little bit of a discussion video with you guys about reading multiple books at the same time because this is something I get comments about on almost every single video. So I thought I would share some of my thoughts and feelings when it comes to reading multiple books at the same time and reading within multiple series at the same time. Because my experience with this has definitely changed throughout my life of being a reader. I used to be somebody that would marathon series. I would pick up a series and read all of the installments that were published and available to me. I would tend to prioritize backlist books and series so that I could complete the series and then move on to the next thing. I also was the type of reader that would only read one book at a time. And oh my, how things have changed. <laughs> I don't know if time and experience has increased my ability to do this or just my preferences have changed. But now as a reader, I almost never marathon series. I usually read maximum of one book within a series per month. Sometimes I only read a new installment every other month, sometimes only a couple per year, depending on what the series is. In addition to that, I am the type of reader who constantly has one ebook going while I'm doing my cardio in the morning, one audiobook that I'm listening to throughout the day, whether it's taking a shower, getting ready for work, getting ready for bed. I have one physical book that I'm reading at nighttime that is different from those other two. And oftentimes I have one nonfiction audiobook I listen to as I'm falling asleep, which is a total of about four books I'm in the middle of at one time. Generally, it's not always the case. Sometimes it's only two because without a doubt, I always have one ebook and one audiobook going. In addition to this, I usually am in the middle of some sort of graphic novel or manga as well. So as you can see, things have greatly changed from when I first started reading. I don't know if that's because I'm super comfortable within the genres I'm reading right now. There's definitely strategies that I don't have to consciously think about, but it sort of compartmentalizes what I am hearing or reading between the different books to help me keep track of information. Now, why would I read more than one book at a time? Well, that's what we're here to talk about today and some possible misconceptions about reading more than one book at once. So we'll get into some of the misconceptions afterwards, but for now, let's talk about why I like to read more than one book at a time. The number one thing for me is it avoids burnout. I get very burned out with series. So if I had to read series that I love from start to finish, I think I'd get bored. I would get sick of it. I would want a change of pace. So even things like Dune by Frank Herbert, Malazin by Steven Erickson, especially The Wheel of Time by Robert Jordan. If I were to try to complete these series from start to finish without reading other books in between, I would never, ever make it. I would be miserable. I've done it in the past. I'm not even sure that it would be an author's intention to read them all back to back like that because if we think about when they are published, Obviously, it takes a long time for the writing and editing and publication process, but if you're reading it in real time, you're waiting at least a year in between installments where you have this desire to get back to this really cool world and characters that you love to learn more information. And sometimes when it's just poured on you book after book, page after page, day after day, you can get sick of it. And I'm not speaking for everybody. This is just my personal experience and my preference. I am also not somebody who can sit down and binge a TV show. Absolutely not. I am somebody who likes when TV shows release one per week. People frequently say to me, why don't you just binge the show? And I'm like, I, I can't though, I'm bored now. Even if it's something I love, I'm still going to get bored with it 
if it's the only thing I'm consuming. So when it comes to reading, I'm no different. When I think about there being so many worlds out there and so many books out there, and I want to experience this little taste of all of them, I know I'll finish them eventually. I'm not going to run out of time, but I want a little taste of other things as I keep going. So this sort of ties into my next point, which is having a really small attention span. So that can involve reading multiple series at one time or reading multiple books as in not completing one from start to finish before you pick up another. When it comes to my attention span, it is pretty small. I can't even watch a TV show from start to finish barely. I never finish a movie in the same day unless other people are like forcing me to because midway through the movie I'm like okay but what now and generally books are better for me because I feel like it's more engaging with me having to physically read and picture everything in my mind rather than just like passively sitting back and watching a tv show so books are a little better there but my attention span is not big enough to complete one book from start to finish without reading anything else in between or certainly not big enough to focus on one entire series without reading anything else in the middle of it. Which leads me to another reason, which is reading multiple books and series at one time allows for more variety. Can you imagine being forced to only listen to the same artist all day every day until you've completed everything by the artist. I realize it's not a very good comparison because it's not telling a chronological story usually. However, I'd be so bored. Now I do repeat a lot of my favorite bands and songs quite frequently. However, I like a variety. I like to mix it up. I like to appreciate and enjoy different things throughout the course of the day. So reading multiple books at once allows you to choose from a variety of different things, whether that's different genres, different age ranges, different magic systems, different tropes, different types of characters, you get to read more than one thing at one time. And I get that that doesn't work for some people, but for me, my brain needs it and it's something that keeps me going. It's something that sincerely helps increase the number of books that I can read each year. Because if I were only to read from one book at a time, I can tell you the amount that I would want to read would severely decrease because I don't always have the want to be experiencing that thing, which leads me to basically my last point here. And that is it allows for a variety of reading moods throughout let's say the month. So if we're looking, let's let's break this down into a month. If you're looking at a monthly TBR and you have five books you wanna read, some people certainly would pick one up and finish it and then move to book two and so on and so forth. Where for me, I'm probably starting four of these books at the beginning of the month and then completing them throughout the month's time. I'm not in the same mood every day and certainly not every time of the day that I'm reading. So how can I expect to always be in the mood for young adult fantasy or a classic adult sci-fi? And a reading multiple books at one time allows for those variations in my mood and changes throughout the day or throughout the month that I can just pick up whatever I'm feeling. For me, consuming multiple stories throughout the day is the way to go to prevent that burnout, to allow for changes in my mood, to help with my attention span deficit, and to give me a variety of books to choose from. I'm gonna plug now my friend Nick from Wicked Good Books because he would always say that he's doing this when, I, when we first became friends. And back then I was more so, I will read this book from start to finish, but I would still have one ebook and one audiobook going at a time. And he'd be like, well, I'm, I'm not really in the mood for that. I'm gonna start a bunch of books and then see which one's gripping me and choose that one to stick with for now. And I'd be like, but why, how are you doing this? I don't understand. And then eventually it just naturally without even purposefully doing it became something that was imperative in my reading schedule because rotating through these books really allows me to enjoy what I'm reading, be anxious to pick something up and spend more time reading. Okay, so I guess there are some general misconceptions that people might have because one of the things that I get questioned about most frequently is 
How are you possibly reading Malazan Book of the Fallen and The Wheel of Time by Robert Jordan at the same time? If you guys are familiar with my channel or you've been here for a moment, you know that I read one Wheel of Time book one month and the next book I read a Malazan month. So I'm only reading one of those books per month every other month. So never once have I thought, oh, okay, so why is Nynaeve even Darujistan again? No. Okay, I'm not wondering what the Tissy Eater are doing in Camelin either. It's like watching TV shows, okay? Are you going to be wondering if Elle from Stranger Things is about to pop up in The Mandalorian or if Baby Yoda is going to end up in Stars Hollow? No, your brain, when you're watching TV shows, I bet you never even think of these things because it's natural for people to not complete a TV show from start to finish before starting another one. But for some reason, people think that it's so different with books. I can tell you there's nothing I've ever gotten mixed up between The Wheel of Time and Malaz and Book of the Fallen. I can't describe how different those books and worlds and characters and magic and setting and everything is. They're so different from one another. But even if we're talking about two very similar things, I generally am not mixing them up. It just comes natural, like watching a TV show or watching separate movies in an episodic nature. I think it's quite natural for our brains to process that information separately. So not just with big series like that. Sometimes in the middle of the month, people will say to me, well, if you're listening to a fantasy audiobook and you're reading a fantasy ebook, don't you get those mixed up? Let's say they're both medieval fantasy. Still no. Still no, I'm not getting them mixed up. That's just like, I guess not how my brain works. I don't know if it's a learned skill. I don't know if it's a skill that I have honed and developed over time. I can't tell you because I didn't try to do it very much before. So let's talk about if you are new to this, if you are used to reading only one thing or one series at a time, you are not in the middle of multiple series or books, and you would like to try to read multiple books at a time each month for any of the reasons I listed at the beginning of the video. Here is maybe a couple pieces of advice for you. I'm not an expert at this by any means. I'm just saying what could have worked for me possibly. So if you're finding that you are losing details and getting confused about world building aspects or not being able to separate worlds from one another, I would suggest possibly slowing down your listening speed or your reading speed to maybe comprehend and retain details of the books a bit better. That might be helpful. I know I used to listen to my books super fast and I'm not judging anybody that does. You're smarter than me but I would miss tons of details. And so it was much more challenging for me. Once I slowed down my reading speed and made sure I was reading every word, and once I slowed down my listening speed, I started loving books again because I was retaining so much more information. And the other piece of advice I have is if you are worried about getting things confused in the beginning, perhaps pull from different age ranges or genres for the month. So you could be listening to a sci-fi classic, maybe Foundation by Isaac Asimov as an audiobook, and then you could be reading a fantasy story like the one I'm reading right now, Dragon Mage. Those two things could not be more different. So there would never be any confusion in the world. So I guess if you are concerned about not keeping track of who belongs where and what's really going on, try that or try reading a genre that you typically do, whether that's fantasy or sci-fi and listen to something totally different, like a thriller or a nonfiction or a horror book. And you might have to do some experimenting to see what type of audiobook you prefer to listen to versus reading. I know it's very different for me based on mood or what else I'm consuming at the time. So experiment with it, try it out, see how it goes. Don't be afraid to reread things. Don't be afraid to rewind things because the only thing you're going to gain is a better comprehension of what happens in the book and that can only benefit you in the long run. So I'm very curious. I have been chatting for far too long. How do you guys do this? Do you typically read a series from start to finish of everything that's at least published? Or do you intermix and read them throughout a long span of time? And when it comes to each month, if you guys are making your mental TBRs 
for the month of what you'd like to read, are you picking up and starting and completing one of those books before you move to the next? Or do you generally dip your toes in each one little by little as the month continues on? I would love to hear what you guys do and what works best for you because it's super interesting to me to see how we are all different and what reading preferences we all have. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Mm-hmm.